Africa. Hey, what's your name, man? Hey, my name is uh, Rupert from uh, Holland, Rotterdam. R Ruben? Rupert from Rotterdam. Rupert. Rupert? Yes. From Holland? Yes. Cool, Are man. You on YouTube? Yeah, not, not YouTube, on, on the website. On the website. Blackout, you're uh, You're an MMA fighter? Jiu Jitsu guy? Nice. And you flew all the way from Holland to Los Angeles to train with Eddie Bravo? Yes, to So I can start. It's flexibility. Yeah, man. So no excuse for people that refuse to come here from like fucking Ohio, right? You came all the way from Holland. Yes. Yes. Well, Sass, you're putting all that sweat and grease on my beautiful top map. I'm wondering when he's coming to Amsterdam to get a seminar. Yeah, seminar in Amsterdam? Put that grease on my shit. Oh yeah, man. So what, why not rating from 1 to 10, what do you think? How's the skills? The skills? How's Eddie Bravo's Jiu Jitsu? It's uh, superior. 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 Yes. Lockdown in the double underhooks, 
We can work to get up to the dog fight. We can work, and now I'd, I'd be on my right side here, or I can get on my left side, work electric chairs. If I can get the leg on my shoulder, I know I, there's a 90% chance I'll easily get the sweep. We test out his flexibility first, then we can get on top. If he doesn't tap, but if we're going for the electric chair and I can't get the leg on my shoulder and he's sprawling, we know that we can just stay on this side, let go of the leg, grab the double underhooks on this side, and start working to pin his wrist to his hip. If his hand's all the way back here, then we grab it like this. But if he's resisting, it's probably gonna end up like this. Both hands on the wrist, the lockdown's still intact. The secret here, or the key, is getting up on your left elbow without letting go of his wrist. Still have his wrist with both hands. If it's just one hand to his wrist, he has a good chance of escaping. You need both hands on his wrist. And now I'm up on my elbow. Get up on top. Then we can pass and let go. He's gonna try to put that butterfly in to stop the pass. So when you get swept, I just want you to think about putting that butterfly in at all times. Anytime you can put that butterfly in. Saves your ass. Open shit up. To bring your right leg through, boom. You're in butterfly guard now. You got good jail breaks. That's huge. So, half guard, double underhooks. I whip up for the dog, uh, for the electric chair. His leg's on my bicep. I can't pull electric chair off unless it's on my shoulder. I let go, double underhooks here. Now I'm looking to break him. He's gonna be basing, so I wanna break him down by the armpit, figure four style. And then he's gonna resist. Probably gonna end up here. Again, if you've got this, now you can one hand's enough. You got it behind his back here. He's stuck. But usually it's gonna be right here because he's gonna be resisting the whole time. And then again, both hands on the wrist, lockdown still intact, swinging up to my elbow, my left elbow, without letting go of his wrist. Bump him forward, <coughs> pass. He tries to put the butterfly in too slow. Is there a way to submit him? He has his arm behind his back, like Shinya style? Yes, I don't know that one though. The hammer walk. Chicken wing, dude. <laughs> All right, and then also we're here. Can get the leg on the shoulder, let it go, double underhooks. Maybe we can grab that arm. If he's not holding my head, if he's not grabbing onto my head, or I could pop it up for just for a second, my head's free. I could swing my leg over. We have a heel. So what are the conditions again there can you, when you, before you throw the, the leg over? You said if he's hold, the guy on top is holding onto your head, yeah. you can't do the heel hook. You can't sit back because okay. you got to be able to sit back and swing your right leg forward. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's one thing to look out for. So again, we're going for an electric chair. We whipped up. Now we go double underhooks on the retarded side. Pin his arm down. Swing up to the elbow. Both hands on his wrist. Then we throw in the heel hook. He's not holding on to my, my head. Let's go, guys. We might have to kill some lights. Show me how to go, watch it. 
on his left foot and not and drive. See how he's like tripoding? I can't clear the neck here. He's blocking me from clearing the neck. He's stacking me. So I'm gonna hug my knee really tight, keep this together. I might go back to New York here. And then we're gonna, just like a regular pop triangle, I'm gonna grab his wrist, go from here or here to grabbing his wrist, pushing it in and swinging the leg wide. And then we're gonna finish with a triangle here. You can, if you need to adjust, Fix the triangle up, go ahead. All that matters is that his arm and his head are trapped between your legs. You might be in a bad, at a bad angle, but you gotta know how to move your body around to get that triangle in the perfect angle. All right, all the top triangle guys, they'll put that thing in and they know you're trapped. They know they're just gonna snake around and then boom, done. Guys, they're not good at triangles, they just, I can't get it. I can't. It's not my angle. Oh, fuck it. I didn't have it. 
You see that all the time. They just think, oh, I just didn't have it. No, you had it. You just didn't know how to fix it up. And that particular triangle will end up in a bad angle where you're going to have to fix it up. You might have to put your foot on the hip, grab your ankle, and adjust. I'll show you. He's going to work on his posture. That. And I bring him down. Three New York. Fixed it. I'm going to try to clear the neck. If I can clear the neck, I'm just going to give him a go-go flapper on his face. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. A facial plata. Alright, so next time he will block, he will <laughs> ring plata. Um, so next time he'll, he's, he's got to learn. That's like some Miyagi shit, slapping your hand. Alright? <laughs> what did he do? He slapped the back of his head? He's holding me up, breaking down. You can switch it up. You don't have to stay on the strong side. And don't put both hands on the mat, because then he doesn't have to think. He's just going to hug either knee. All right, we're down. Fix that New York. I try to clear the neck. Can't clear the neck. Squeeze tight here. Really sell the neck clear. You got to stay really tight here. Grab that wrist. Push it over. You might have to push on the hip. Not this. Either this or the cable grip or what do we call this? Ball and socket or some shit? Monkey grip or ball and socket. This is monkey grip? Is it monkey grip this? Yeah. Monkey grip is just like this. This would be, I think it's ball and socket. Okay. Holding me up. Not that hard. You have to adjust it. Mm -hmm. Adjust it. Let's go.